Hi, I'm Lisa Bluter. I'm the head women's basketball coach at the University of Iowa. I think a leader is able to identify goals and figure out the best way for that team to accomplish those goals. Um, you know, a leader is not a popularity contest. Uh, a leadership is really hard. Leader is a person that has to hold somebody else accountable, and that's really hard for people to do, uh, especially young people that haven't had a lot of experience of holding people accountable. Uh, but you can hold people accountable if you're not doing the job yourself. So I think the first thing is a leader has to take care of themselves and make sure they're doing the things their best, working as hard as they can possibly work, doing things the right way. So they're, you know, walking the walk and not just talking about it. Um, but a leader helps others to be their best. It's, it, it's not about them. It's about the group. It's about our team. It's how do we make our team better, not how do I make myself better. I try to lead with enthusiasm and by being positive, but I also have to constantly be looking for ways to improve my team, how to make them better, how to hold them accountable and, and coach them to be their very best. So I think there's that fine line between being positive and being enthusiastic, but you can't be rah-rah all the time. You have to also be able to be willing to step out and hold other people accountable. I've had great players that lead by example, that are the hardest workers. But you also have to be a leader that not only leads by example, but leads by using your voice. By using your voice enthusiastically to motivate and to compliment your, your, your teammates, to care about them, but also to hold them accountable. So a leader, in my opinion, has to be both. You have to be one of the hardest workers, but you also have to use your voice and interject that within the team. You know, we use the terminology win a lot at Iowa. And what that stands for for us is work hard, with integrity, no excuses. And to me, I look for those characteristics when I'm looking for leaders. Are they willing to be the hardest worker in the gym? And to me, working hard is not just showing up for practice and going as hard as you can in that three hour time segment. Working hard is what you do in the weight room. Working hard is what you do after practice. Working hard is what you do before practice. If you just come to practice and work hard for those three hours, you're simply doing your job. You're simply doing what everybody else in the country is doing. It's working hard is doing the extra. We have a, a slogan we all say is one more. We're gonna do one more. That's why we never shoot 15 free throws. We always shoot 16 free throws. Uh, when I gave uh, one of our all-time great post players, Megan Gustafson, the goal of making 16,000 shots in three months. She didn't make 16,000, she made 18,000. That's doing one more, and that's a great sign of a leader. So a leader, uh, the characteristics I look for is that hard work piece, uh, but also the integrity. I don't think you can be a leader unless you have both of those pieces. If you're able to you know, have the integrity, you do things right, um, you can't hold people accountable if you're not doing those things right. So that integrity piece, I think, is very, very important.